What's up fellow K-pop fans, in this episode of JJ Reviews K-pop, we're going to be checking out Triple H. That's right, Triple H is back, and I did not know that they were going to be coming back. But they have come back, and with a brand new song called Retro Future. So they're going to be taking us to the past as well, the future, as well as the future, uh, which is an oxymoron, kind of. So that's interesting, and I like that. Very interested to see what this next song is going to be um, and how it's going to compare to 365 Fresh. I love that song. Still listening to that song. I don't know. Is it going to be anything like that? Is it going to have that Bruno Mars kind of feel or is it going to be something completely different? I have no idea, but I'm excited to find out. Also, I love retro stuff, so I'm excited for that as well. Also, it looks like it's maybe got a, like a VHS kind of filter kind of feel to it. So I'm excited for that as well. Before we get into it, you guys, though, don't forget. Before we get into it, you guys, though, don't forget to add me on all my social media. They'll pop up right here. And on the flip side of that, don't forget to check out the Patreon. Uh, we upload comebacks and come reactions to comeback stages and all other sorts of things on there. So make sure you guys go check that out. Anyways, you guys, with all that being said, let's dive in the Triple H's retro future right now. Click. I like the tone of that bass. I like how dry that snare is too. Ooh, are they serial killers or something? Ooh, got an 80s feel to it kind of. Oh my god, they're using that synth. Oh my god, it's freaking Rapper's Delight. That's so cool that they freaking sampled that in this song. That is cool, man. No way. That was cool. <laughs> uh -oh. oh my god. That's cool, dude. You guys see the high harmony? Nice. Mm. Oh shit, Fiona. What Did he just take a golden dump? I think so. <laughs> That is freaking cool, man. All three of them look fantastic, by the way. Oh, shit. Wow, man. Interesting music video. That's cool. That is awesome, man. That was a really good song. Whether or not it's as good as 365, I'm not sure. 
but I'm freaking out right now. Can I go show you guys? Um, let's see if they don't push me because I'm close to the edge. I'm trying. I think it's Rapper's Delight, isn't it? Who is that? That's not Rapper's Delight, is it? Oh, I feel like such a fool. Grandmaster Flash, the message. I said Rapper's Delight. I'm so sorry that I messed that up. So here, you guys hear that synth right there? Such a cool synth, dude. It's like a jungle sometimes. It, it makes me wonder, wonder why I keep from going, going under. Oh my god, you guys. I'm so excited that they sampled that. They definitely sampled that. It's either they sampled it, which they definitely did, or it's the same synth and they did the same melody line. But it's like a sample. It's like they But okay, let me get back over here. Boop, 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 boop. Oh, that was really cool, man. I'm sorry, I kind of freaked out. Also, I said it was Rapper's Delight. It's not. It's the message by Grandmaster Flash. So, at least I got that, though. I knew what it was. I just, I said the wrong name. But, really great song. All three of them sounded fantastic. Huey's vocal is always really good. I wonder if he wrote this, actually. Because uh, I know he does compose, if I remember correctly. If one of you guys can let me know down in the comments if he composed this or not, that'd be awesome. But his vocal sounded fantastic. It always does. Always has a fabulous vocal. E. Don also did some cool things with his vocal in here as well. And Hiona is just scrum diddly umptious, so deal with it. And she's amazing. I just loved it, man. I really enjoyed it. I don't have it immediately stuck in my head like I did with 365 Fresh, but... I still love it. I really do love it. And I love what they're going for. The sound of Triple H, I, I really enjoy it. It's got like this 80s, a little bit of 70s kind of creeping up in there. Kind of like a disco funk thing going on. And I friggin' love that shit, man. As a bass player, that's one of my favorite things to play. Uh, is some funk or some disco, man. I just love getting to play around on that bass. I don't know. And it's just fun. It's just a fun genre. You know what I mean? It's so dancey and groovy and sexy. And they nailed it with this, man. Um, with the music video, they look stunning. All three of them look really great. And at times, kind of creepy. And I, I like that vibe they were giving off. It felt like a... Almost like... it. For some reason, it was giving me this American Psycho, which is like an 80s... It's either an 80s film or it's a 90s film, but it's based in the 80s. Which, if you don't know what that is, check it out if you're old enough to watch that, of course. Um, but it gave me that kind of feel to it. It was almost like they were like, like they were crazy or something, and they broke into this these rich people's homes or something, and it, they took over and like brainwashed them or some shit. I don't know, but I enjoyed watching it. I can tell you that much. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it too. Let me know down below which song do you like better, Retro Future. I wish we had a good video editor so I could have it go like, that'd be so cool. Or 365 Fresh. Let me know down in the comments. I really am interested. Also, let me know if you know uh, if Huey uh, composed this song and whether or not they gave credit to Grandmaster Flash because that's definitely, definitely from that song. Don't push me a cut the message. Sometimes I'm, what, what is it? <laughs> Junkies in the alley with the baseball bat. I tried to get away, but I couldn't get far. Cause a man with the touch of repossessed my car. <laughs> push me, cause I'm close to the edge. I'm trying not to lose my head. <laughs> By the way, the only part that is sampled, I believe, is just the keyboards that go on in there. It goes throughout the song. But... Dude, it's so good. That is such a good synth. It really is. It's just, oh, it gets me every time I hear it. Also, I wanted to mention, I mentioned it, but I want to mention it again. The laziness of the hit on that snare drum is beautiful. <laughs> that, those are the snare drum hits. <laughs> this is like... Yeah, it's a good song, man. It's got a really nice groove in this song. I enjoyed it, man. I hope you guys enjoyed it, too. For real, because I really liked it. All right, dreamers. Anyways, I love you all. Dreamers, keep on dreaming. I'll see you in the next video. And until then, on yo.